Now, imagine you have a really good website, right? And people are actually signing up for your waitlist. You're getting leads. Are you? Yes, that's what we'll be doing today. People who check out your Instagram, message you or join your waitlist, we will be taking them and converting them into customers. Taking the leads or just finding leads from online. And the best way to do that is NA10. So, NA10 is actually a really good workflow tool. You guys must have heard about it. It's like too damn popular. But in short, you can connect different, uh, correct different tools like AI agent. You can connect with ChatGPT. You can connect with like Google Sheets. You can connect with Instagram, WhatsApp. This is the best way to convert your customers into a paid people, right? Or just getting leads, right? Getting more emails, getting more people who need your product. That is what we'll be doing with this episode. So this is NA10 and there are two ways you could install it. It's open source so you can do it for free or you can even use uh, host it on your own or you can do it through their service. Their service is most expensive way I would say like check out the pricing like so you can see like 2.5 thousand times only like you will only get 2.5 thousand um, leads only that many people so it's, it's not the best so you can host it on your own through a lot of websites. One I really prefer, I don't know if you guys have heard about railway, no, not railway station, but like something much, much, much different is this. So you can actually deploy not just NA10, a lot of stuff. So we can deploy also NA10 from here. It's like a cloud that they are giving. Yes, it's open source. So you can even run this on your computer without paying for free, right? But you need a really good computer. So here I use something known as Docker. You can easily just go install it from here. Once you install Docker from here, you can go to pricing and just install. Look, Docker is free, but like they don't have a paid version if I'm not wrong, do they? I think some advanced stuff, but I personally have never tried it. So cloud and all I don't need, right? So I just try everything and it's pretty good. I like how this works. So from Docker, you just have to go uh, and type like here. This is how it will open, okay? For you, come here, just type NA10. Just here, you will see an option like pull just click on that like run pull or any option like that and it should work it will take some time after that it will automatically turn on so i'm just going to put this stuff so another thing about na10 is it's also kind of like notion they have a lot of templates so you don't have to create your own telegram connection and all that uh, it, it's really good so i'm just going to randomly do this so you can set it up here it's the same online and offline so i'm just going to show you guys this one Online base. Like I just showed you, it's the same. So I'm just going to show you deploy project from here. Here it's how it's supposed to look like. Okay. Once it's here, just click on this. Just hopefully it turned off the servers. Okay. It's This is how it's supposed to look like. And it should be on. Right. To get the link, just click here. You'll see railway and just click here. Right. It should be on. It should be working. It looks the exact same, but this is in production workflow. It's not on my that rather it's in the uh, cloud of railway. Now here I have a few workflows. For example, when people scan a QR code of one of my classes, they, they get to like a certificate with their name that they have to fill a form. So I made like a lot of automations like that and all. Uh, here's one I made for lead agents. I would really love to show this. And I'll just give a small introduction on what NA10 has and all. So these stuffs are known as nods. Okay, I know it looks so complicated. But explaining this in short, when someone clicks test arrow, so let's execute this. Okay, I'm just going to show. It's going to execute. Okay, imagine I want more leads on my cafe. So it's going to go scrape the sites based on that. It's going to extra extract email IDs from each sites. There are a lot of email ID, right? So it's going to extract those from each site, like cafe sites. So if I just check my sheet right now, Google sheet, you should be able to, if I'm not wrong, check. Yes, this is it. So you should be able to check this. So it found a lot of, so you can see it's cafe, cafe house, mail IDs. So I can now easily go and this, mail this and promote, let's say a cafe automation or anything I have for a cafe, like a new idea that I would want the cafe to have, right? It's based on what product you have. So a calculator, I think would be good for schools. So let's do that, right? I'll explain the workflow. So when someone clicks on execute workflow, it uses Google Maps. Yes. So it doesn't just check on Google, it checks Google Maps. So I'm just going to type uh, mathematics. 
colleges i don't know if it, that even exists going to type this and then go back okay once that's set then it will extract the url so it finds a location it gets the location it removes all the duplicate like there might be same college two times so it removes the duplicate here uh, and then limits it to a certain number you don't want like 10 million right you want your closest area so and it loops over time so it loops and does this all the time scrapes the site waits extract the image scrapes the sites wait extract only the emails from google maps after that it spits out all the data to your google sheet now i'm just going to execute this i'm going to show a little bit more in depth on how this works what all are there how to add notes but i would really suggest this is not an in depth tutorial on how innate and works right i'm just trying to show you these tools on back end how technology works but i'm not going to show you a full innate and it deserves its own course trust me now let me show you how to make your own workflow right so uh here is something that i created really quick okay you know what bye i'm going to teach you guys from the start right so first of all to create this workflow you need nodes what are nodes nodes are particularly nodes that's all i can say i don't know how to explain it okay just click on first step okay Imagine you want to talk to Gemini AI, Google's AI. So, once you search on G Gemini, you should take chat model because you're chatting with it, right? So, now how do you connect Gemini with this? You need something known as API. API is a particularly ways that you can kind of talk, right, between two platforms. So, once you take an API, just click on this and you can see connections, right? So, this do not change a letter of that. Do not I made a big mistake and did that so please do not do that please don't okay now for the api key for free what you can do is that go to google cloud and uh, i already kind of did it so do not copy this and kill me okay just copy this you just have to click on create new api i'm just using one of the ones i already made come here down paste this in and click on retry or save it should be done click on save hello if we just put hey it should respond please respond please turn it click on refresh hopefully it works this time okay <laughs> uh just okay now just say hi and it works it just it needed a bit of charm was a okay and it should answer right it should answer please yes you are not much just chilling what's good with you bro okay now it's trying to talk like me that's not how i talk like this i i really don't talk like that okay anyway so now you saw how to create a basic workflow in n810 now you can come here connect this with agent right agent i i just want to show it to you guys what agent looks so this uh, come buddy come 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 okay So you can see you can connect the chat model. You can have it have memory, so it will remove the previous chats, right? It can have memory of maybe your website, so it can be a customer chat. But it can have access to tools like tools like Sheet, Google Sheet, Google Drive, Google all the stuff. Then that is the chat models. But like data translation, core. I'm gonna act like I know what all this means now. Actually, there's a lot of stuff here that you have to try it out. Action and app. So you can see all these apps are there from AWS to lot of apps even i don't know about but like there's a lot of stuff so you guys have to experiment with this use this rather than me just saying blah 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 this blah 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 will be basic workflow no right test it out look for after yourself i just thought you have to do this very basic thing like you can even type drive and you will find drive right you can find a lot and a lot of stuff here if i think youtube is here you can connect whatsapp right you can connect telegram lot of stuff so imagine someone messages on telegram and you can reply with your bot right your bot replies to it right so uh so yeah that is how you create a basic workflow and yeah hope you're able to understand that now 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 what is next oh sales agent time i can't wait for you to see the next video please don't do something else it's going to be helpful okay welcome to day 6 of creating leads or getting more people and anyway, hopefully you are able to learn about anything today Connect different things. Learn about without coding how you can connect 
ChatGPT to WhatsApp to anything you can imagine. Imagine connecting Gmail and YouTube. I don't know why you would want to do that, but there are infinite possibilities. But today we used it to get more customers for our product. So even if you're a student, even if you're an employee, this is very much helpful for you because imagine automating what you have to do. Imagine automating your homework. Totally, I don't know that. Anyway, that's it for today. Give us the hashtag for any feedbacks on how not to cheat on your homework and stuff like that. And that's it. If you want to get notification about these classes, sessions on time, check out the WhatsApp community where I have not set up an innate and bot. I am the one messaging you guys. And that's it. From my side, also check out live uh, e. I am chatting with you guys there live while these classes go on, unlike YouTube. And at the end of the day, you guys know what to do. If you guys want amazing phone, amazing laptops, if there is any problem with the Wi-Fi and stuff like that, check out Oxygen. They have awesome products with this awesome coupon code with awesome prices. That's it from my side. You are watching all Rockstar and I am zooming out.